And oh, yeah, this is, uh, you know, technically you can do it this fair. Oh, so let me actually do this in a way that I'm going to claim that you can do it fairly easily. You can, you know, take a look at the book, find the uh, one that talks about classification of stellar spectra. And uh, here it is. Uh, this is one of the f um, places where they will tell you uh, basically how each classification, O, B, A, F, G, K, N, corresponds to each temperature. So you could technically do something like this. Oh, wait. You could do something like this, and I contend that there's um, uh, is value in being able to look up the information. And uh, um, one thing, so G is over here. <laughs> and one thing I can, again, reassure you is that in this class, I don't ask um, any questions where you have to memorize things. Um, that's partly because you can just look stuff up and you know, that's more uh, closer approximation of real life anyway. Um, like, you know, if I were a practicing astronomer and I forgot what the temperature range was for spectral class A, I would look it up. I wouldn't rack my head trying to remember <laughs> what the temperature it was. So um, the difference between having things memorized and um, being able to look stuff up is that you can usually do things faster when you have it memorized. So, um, so you know, if I were a practicing astronomer, then I would have these memorized so that um, I don't have to keep going back and forth to figure out which corresponds to what. So, but you know, this is introductory class. I'm not. Uh, you, you don't have to be an expert in astronomy to be in this class. So if you can, if you know where the information is, that's good enough. Uh, 